following program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes of sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Morning, bro. You ever hear of a glass? Don't worry about it, Louise. I don't have any germs. By the way, nice paint job. Thanks. Where's Mama? Ah, uh, she already left for work. Shoot. I talked to her about quitting her job with the cranes. Again? You know she's not gonna listen to you. I mean, the family needs her paycheck. What'd the cranes do to ruffle your feathers this time? <sighs> it's just some trouble at the crane mansion last night. I just wanted to be extra careful around there. Trees home from the cannery yet? Uh, no. Uh, not yet. That's funny. Shift ended over an hour ago. Maybe she got some overtime. Maybe. I'll tell you, I'm so proud of her. I mean, it seems like she's finally getting on with her life and getting over those crazy fantasies about Ethan Crane. Yeah. I was afraid to talk to Ethan. Every time I saw you, I spilled something on you. Those were accidents. I know you didn't do it because you hated me. Oh, no. I love you. And I forgive you for everything. I'm glad you called to explain it all to me. You mean that? All my heart. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever met, Teresa. I got you a latte, fat free. Thanks. It's D-Day, Simone. The day I get Miguel to stop thinking of me as one of the guys and discover me as a woman. Not to be a down, okay? But what if he does Don't even think it, Simone. Miguel's going to be mine. Now, are you gonna help me or not? What do you want me to do? You can start by numbering these sashes for the contestants. Okay. You do realize that as soon as the guys see these, they're gonna know they've been tricked into entering a beefcake contest. What if they walk off, refuse to compete? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I always think of something. <laughs> what a waste of time and money. How much did all this ribbon cost? None of your business, brat. Get out of here. No way. This is my room, too. I'm just trying to save you some heartache. We all know Miguel's got it bad for some girl he saw at the carnival yesterday. How did he describe her? I remember. Beautiful blonde hair and the most amazing eyes he's ever seen. I don't care what she looks like. There's no way I'm losing Miguel to some strange girl whose name he doesn't even know. <sighs> Just let her try to show her face in harmony again. Who was that boy? I don't even know his name. Mom, don't say no until you hear me out. Can we go back to Harmony today? Please? Mom? Mom, are you out there? Away, away, keep far away. No more days like yesterday. It's all that screeching, Telepha. You woke Timmy up. Let the darkness take the light. Telepha, please stop it. Curses, Timmy. Can't you see I'm busy? Yesterday was such a hard day for Timmy. I was hoping we could sleep in. This is no time for sleep. Do you know what this is, Timmy? 
One of your toys, Tabitha? No. No, it's not a toy. This is a spirit board. And you ought to thank your lucky stars that it doesn't have a message for us this morning about that woman and her brat. We've got to get out of here. No kidding. I was ready ten minutes ago. Shh. Jimmy didn't like the way they made him fly around. But do you think it was a picnic for me? Don't worry, Timmy. I've taken care of it. They're no longer a threat to us. will convince you. I wish someone would answer that phone. Hello? Hey, Whitney, it's Miguel. Oh, hi, Miguel. Is my sister still there? Still fast asleep. It was nice of you to let her sleep at your house. Well, I couldn't let her go home and face Luis. No kidding. Our big brother's gonna kill her when he finds out she lost another job over Ethan. That's why I was calling. You better wake her up so she can figure out how to break the bad news to him. You are not going to believe the great dream I just had, Whitney. I explained everything to Ethan and he forgave me. He was about to kiss me when I... Don't even say it, Teresa. Uh, McGill, where are you? 